everyone welcome back to the channel had to jump back on with financial journey how you doing man good to see you fantastic how are you doing well i wouldn't say fantastic good. but i'm yeah, doing a little bit right. a little bit better than mullen stock price right now yeah we were actually just talking before we hit record everyone um we actually just hit a new all-time low of a dollar 16 uh for mullen stock so another day with mullen right um, but yeah, we wanted to just kind of connect and kind of talk about what's next with our opinion, our perspective on things, especially with Mullen Company and the stock price. Um, the first thing I would like to talk about and kind of get your opinion on it, um, the latest thing that, that I've seen was there was a uh, page on Twitter and, and it's kind of going viral right now. Um, and they have about 65,000 followers and they just talked about Mullen. They, they keep posting about it, actually. I think they've done three tweets about it. Um, so I kind of looked into a little bit and it seems like they, their goal is to trade different stocks, but what's your take on that? Um, I think even the most risk adverse individuals are seeing and looking at Mullen as like, okay, well maybe even if it is a meme stock or some people see it as a meme stock, even if they aren't producing anything now, the price it's at is just too extreme. That is getting the attention of clearly, um, non Mullen fans. So I think that's a positive sign, but clearly um, it hasn't really helped the stock price at all. But I, I think it's a pretty good thing. It's getting more and more attention. And even last night, I think it's Mullen itself was trending on a lot of different websites, even Twitter as well. So I think it's getting more attention. Right, right. Yeah. And, and one thing that they said, um, and I'm assuming you know, they've been here for a while. So for them to put out a tweet like that with 65,000 followers, as long as all of those are real followers, um, they also stated that you should be buying into Mullen um, pretty much as low as $1.18 with a 4% stop loss. So for anyone that is like kind of trading this stock, just so you know, that would put you at about $1.12, okay? So for anyone that's trying to trade this, um, and then, yeah, the, the price yesterday was really interesting. We shot up over 24%. Um, I, I know you made a video on that, um, with your opinion on it, but you didn't really know why that happened. Right. Cause well, the news came really out in the morning, either. like the news came out in the morning, uh, Lawrence tweeted something afterwards that all occurred. So during that time frame, like there was nothing that came out. So. Right, maybe, right. maybe like Lawrence does talk on a topic side topic of Lawrence, I guess he does talk with a lot of individuals. Uh, clearly, thus, that's why he's changing his phone number. And who knows, any one of those individuals could have gotten information or just maybe um, a lot of different things. There is a lot. It's still in the threshold list as well. So it could be just the shorts saw it as an advantageous time to return some of the naked shares that have been out. Um, so maybe that might be some justification. I'm not sure. Right, right. And then let's talk about Lawrence for a minute, because I know you, you've you talked to him a lot. And I know a lot of people have talked to him on Twitter. I'm still yet to talk with him. And I don't think I will ever speak with him, even though he posted my YouTube video, yeah. just making that known, which is crazy. Um, but whatever, I, I've gotten the information that I needed to kind of hear from you and from Lawrence and from other people that have shared it with me. Um, but I, I'm starting to get like, I think Lawrence is a great guy. I've never thought he lies or he's that dark of a person with just being just lying to people just straight up how he is. I think he talked a lot and probably got worried um, about everything going on. And then it's interesting that they promoted him in MAEO as well. So it kind of paints the picture for me, but it seems like he's very flip floppy lately. What, what do you think about that with Lawrence? I, I think he he's has good intention. The fact that he doesn't have any shares kind of does prove the fact that he's not pumping. He's just very excited about his technology. But mm -hmm. I think his last Facebook post was very telling because clearly a lot of people were seeing him as the face of Mullen per se. But one thing is that the way I interpreted his last post was he's kind of trying to distance himself. He said, well, Mullen and or the third party, leave it up to them. So if I don't want to spread any rumors, but if a Saudi deal doesn't come down the pipeline in, let's say a week or two weeks, he doesn't want to be responsible. It'll be up to Mullen or the third party. So I think he's just trying to distance himself from 
that because I think that's one thing most likely he was getting hounded on is like when's the Saudi deal? What what's happening with that? So right. I do agree though he he has flip flopped quite a lot. Um, maybe not because solely himself. Like even technically, a lot of the news that I think was set to come out, it just didn't really work out. Other third party um, individuals didn't really play their part. This is why news didn't come out. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. He's a, he's a very nice guy. Uh, it's kind of a breath of fresh air the fact that he's so honest and forthcoming. But yeah. I do agree he shouldn't have kind of touched on Mullen and started speaking on production because I think that is where um, David shut him down because of that. I think. What's your take? Yeah, I think um, with Lawrence, um, basically, like you said. I think he was talking too much. I think Mullen probably said, you can't be saying all this stuff because he said some very, very bold things on Facebook lives. Um, and to kind of answer your question, but also say this, I think what people are relying on right now is the Saudi Arabia news. And, and there's nothing that's actual factual about it yet. It's a lot of speculation. And that might be why this stock price is going down over 5% today. Um, and then also what I would think is I have to believe that news is coming this week or even as early as next week. Because if I believe Lawrence is a good guy and I've, I've kind of understood what he said, everything he's kind of said has come true except he did state, I believe on his first Facebook live, the very first one, he said, big news is coming in two weeks. And this was like a month ago, I think, or maybe like a month and a week ago. No big news really came. I think two weeks, what he, and he started talking about the Saudi Arabia news is going to come out in two weeks, two to three weeks, but he'll, he'll let them announce it. So I don't know if things got pushed back, if that's an actual deal that's happening with Mullen or MAEO. But also he stated that, the deal with Saudis is basically just for him, but Mullen will benefit from it. So that's my perception on it. I've never really been in Mullen because of this, this new information that we've gotten. I think it's just a cherry on top. Um, but what would you say on that? Am I pretty clear on my understanding of that or do you have yeah, other information? Yeah, kind of. So when he talked on the granddaddy of all news, what he did right. tell me, um, he said that uh, w one of the very first times I recorded, he did say that a lot of generals, uh, three-star generals are going to be showing up. This is why tentatively on the Monday when he was first time in D.C., it was supposed to be between 9 and 10 or 9 and 1030 because he didn't know when all the generals were going to show up. Um, yeah. And then that didn't happen. Um, so I was like, OK, that's kind of weird. Um, and then I, I guess what ultimately happened was the scheduling with the, I guess, the generals didn't really happen. So potentially uh, still, I don't know, it, it's one of those things is either he might have prematurely spoke or that might be pending news. He has also said in his Facebook live stream, this a lot of government bodies. So he said that he's also indicated the fact that yeah. um, different levels of government. So it's like, what? I don't know. I agree with you. Something is coming, but I think people are hanging on to that because right now the only thing, the next big thing for people to hang on to is production for July uh, that we know mm -hmm. of. Maybe M1 might be coming sooner, but it's like you need some reason to buy it. Like you can't just hope for six months down the line that something is going to come true and expect the stock price to go up because of that. You need short term. And I think Lawrence was that short term filler that people used. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I, yeah, and to touch on that, I think that's where people were hoping a squeeze would come from. And I think most people are probably in Mullen stock just to get a squeeze. And that's okay to have that mindset, but that will get you very frustrated. Um, cause I've been there in the past with certain stocks. So I wouldn't recommend anyone to kind of get into a stock for that. I think for me, and then we'll kind of end on another question I have for you. Um, is it's always been on what the company is doing, what Mullen has done. And I've been obviously making YouTube videos since November of 2022, but I first invested in Mullen in September of 2022. And that, and, and kind of a month before that, I, I dove really deep into it. I like how Mullen puts out a lot of news. They update us like 
it's very clean. You know, they have a website where you can find the latest news and everything they've done has kind of the way my head works has worked with me has checked off some boxes where it's like, okay, this company is building a solid company. The stock price is getting crushed, but we know this stock could run because we just saw it yesterday. So I think the next piece of news is yes, maybe we have a, a surprise piece of news like Saudi Arabia or whatever it is before July. And that would be amazing for everyone that's holding, in my opinion, not being financial advice, of course. But what I would say is I think it's good, like more boxes got checked for me because of the production starting in July. And the last three or four pieces of news they have been stating, we're starting production in July. Another box that got checked off for me was that they have orders from Randy Marion that they, they get continuous orders. They have more orders from the UNC uh, college. Yeah. So like when I start to think of all this stuff, yeah, stock price is horrible. If I, if I just looked at the stock price and I saw all red and I didn't really dive deep into the company, then I would be very, very concerned. But for me, at least, like the research I've done on this company and really what they've been building, I still am staying optimistic. And I do think the stock price will go up higher. But I think we do need maybe more specifics on production, M1, M3, just more information that there's they're still kind of just same uh, just enough i think to keep people around um but they're not giving us you know that one piece of news where it's like okay molin is going to dominate everything yeah i went on a tangent but that's kind of like where my head is at right now i like it yeah i know that's how like i like those yeah my head's like all over the place when it comes down to Mullen. it's like i like to same thing as with what you said be cautiously optimistic um there is clearly some red flags, but actually one thing that I actually was very surprised about on the recent earnings was, did you notice that a lot of the promissory notes were quashed? So David actually paid off some debt. So he's actually, right. he, he's actually doing something. That's, that's pretty cool. I think like he's not just, cause that's one thing that bears absolutely think is happening. Just the fact that he's just milking like the whole retail investors and just buying planes and doing all that stuff. Like, He's actually paying debt. So, yeah, yeah, that's good. And then I, I know you were talking about there was no revenue either on the earnings uh, report. So, do you believe the Q2 earnings will be like a hundred times better than the Q1 earnings, just uh, from everything that's been going on? Honestly, yeah, I wouldn't say a hundred, but yeah, it should be significantly better based on the agreement. I think. Um, maybe someone did clarify that I think once Randy Marion gets paid from the third party, then that's where Mullen gets paid because Mullen's supposed to get paid per vehicle per delivery. So maybe uh, it just didn't fall in line. It actually, the payment's going to occur or something like that in Q2. So maybe that might be yeah. the case, but, um, as far as I know, they are not really hiring a lot more high level or mid level employees. So the 18 million that we saw in Q1, that should be around the cap for the salaries. So yeah, it definitely Q2 should be significantly better. Um, yeah. Right. And and then one thing I noticed, and I don't, I think we have to be very careful with articles they put out now with really how they say things. Um, but they did state in either this morning's news or yesterday that um, revenue is expected or basically payment is expected to come in August and September. So it seems like they haven't been paid yet for anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, so, I mean, so if that is the case, August, that would be Q3 then, wouldn't that? Because end of July. So, it's... so that means, yeah. So it'd be more so Q3. Yeah. So, yeah, because June would be the last month, right, for yeah. Q2? Yeah, so that would be... Okay, so just some things to keep in mind. Um, again, I think I think the stock price could obviously move from here up because we saw what happened yesterday, but um, I think it's just a slower process with Mullen and what they're doing. Again, the good things, if, we, if we're kind of going to end it right now, um, is that they are saying they're doing production in July, which is positive. But I know you mentioned, I think on this morning's video that you made that they haven't really mentioned any uh, class one production yet, but we have seen things on Twitter, people posting things um, from being in facilities. So it kind of sucks that investors have to do all this research 
to understand this company, but this is what we all signed up for. And I think there's high risk, high reward here. Um, and that's just my opinion on it. Anything yeah. else you kind of want to add? No, it hats off to those that do a lot of deep DD. There's some people that like zoom into a picture, like a invoice that's on a wind windshield wiper of a, at Randy Marion, people zoom in and look at all that weird stuff. I've, it's weird. I've, I've been, been investing for a while and I've never been invested in, for instance, a stock like Mullen that you actually have to do. You're such a deep dive. So it, it's hats right. off to those individuals that do that much research. It helps quite a lot, um, helps investors and especially uh, kind of add some pieces together because if you take away all of that, like a lot of investors would be so much more in the dark than what they currently are. And I think this is also why people really liked Lawrence. It was, it was nice to say, Oh, they actually are having production. Oh, they actually are hiring. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, I have a okay, question. So I have a question. Yeah. For you yeah, after. Go for it. yeah. So at what stage, given the price, I don't know what it is right now, but what stage would you buy more? Yeah, I just had this conversation with someone uh, the other day. So the last time I bought was at a dollar twenty one, and so are you saying when would I buy more? If I was to buy more, yeah, um, I I'm not buying anymore as of right now. Um, my strategy is not going to change. It's the same as I had when I first entered uh, Molin stock. Is I will be selling some as we start to move up, and I have certain areas that I would be selling at. Now, the hope for me, because if I really do believe Mullen is going to be here in the long run, which I do think they will still today, even with all the red flags that we've all seen, um, I would just buy back in with what I sold once it pulls back down. Because, I mean, I think everyone can agree that Mullen moves very fast um, and you got to be careful with that. But as of right now, I'm not buying anymore. That's fair. Uh, my last buy was, I think, $1.42, $1.41. Um, but... I think a lot of institutions are waiting on the sidelines for confirmation that production is going to kick in. So if I buy more, it'd be yeah. around there. So probably July, because I think what happened yesterday with the spike with the shorts, the reason why I didn't stay up there is because there was just no buyers. Nobody's mm -hmm. uh, like institutions aren't willing to buy Mullen right now without confirmation that production's actually started. Um, institution and retail investors are kind of tapped out for money. Like, Everyone that I speak to, yeah. they've bought the dip every single time and they're broke right now. So it's and there was a new dip today also <laughs> at a dollar sixteen. So for these reasons, that's why I'm not really buying anymore. I have plenty of shares that I'm happy with. Um, and then my strategy now is to kind of get some money back as we start to ride up and then, you know, average back in if I want to. But I think that's a good date too, what what, what you said, uh, being production. I think it also, the other side of that is that would be positive news, but I think for me, it would also have to be like, where are we at on the charts? Like, is it a good time to buy right now? Or are we like in over overbought territories? Is this thing going to crash down? So I look at a lot of different things. I think right now it's just, we just got to get this thing moving up and we got to find a base and, and keep climbing. Okay. Um, last question that I have, and then we'll kind of end this video. So Appreciate you all that have been watching so far. So what is your on? Cause I think this would help a lot of people, especially since you have had conversations with Lawrence and I think he's a big piece of this whole puzzle, but what is your honest opinion? Like, do you think he's telling the truth about everything he said, or do you think there's some lies or do you think he's just confused? I think he, he gets very excited and I think he has spoke on things that he has made assumptions on uh, in regards to Mullen. So even if in regards to the LLC, he might be 100% honest by him saying things about Mullen and that hasn't come true is kind of discrediting him as a whole. So I think he's very honest in regards to the LLC. You did bring up about the whole will Mullen benefit from this LLC. That's also something that I was trying to get one final interview, but he did tell me that Mullen shut him down. He's not able to talk. Um, but that okay. was going to be my next question. Like, honestly, what exactly, in what aspect and context does Mullen benefit? Because he's clearly stated that this LLC is only for North and South America. I assume because of the new title change that's changed since then, but still we don't know. Um, 
but what does Mullen benefit? Because I agree with you. He's clearly stated in the past that he gets it, but yeah, like what, like, because I know a lot of people are assuming that 10 billion is going to come and 51% of that is going to go to Mullen and then the stock price should shoot up. And how mm-hmm. disheartening would that be is like, Oh, actually no, Lawrence gets to keep it versus Mullen gets zero or maybe like, a very, very small percentage of that. So it's like, that's something that I really, really want to know. And if anyone is speaking to Lawrence still, definitely that's something to find out before he does change his number. But I think that's one, one thing. But so what's your take on that? Same question back to you. Yeah. um, And I had a thought just now while you were talking, Um, I would say, I think there's a reason MAEO happened. I think there's a reason that Mullen gets 51%, Lawrence gets 49%. Um, I do think that that will be successful with the partnership that they put together. Um, I do believe Lawrence that he is very um, authentic. I think he, the words he says are true. Like he believes in underdog. I think he can relate to that. So he likes Mullen. Um, I think when he says Mullen gave him a shot, I think that's true 100%. And I, I think he's a very loyal person, if I had to explain him. Um, so I do think a lot of what he said is true. I haven't really had high hopes for Saudi Arabia, though. I haven't really looked into it that much. Um, I'm more interested in his just technology, just doing what it's supposed to do, and Mullen having that edge compared to other companies, possibly. Um but in all honesty, just from what I've seen with Lawrence, and I feel like I'm kind of good at reading people. I, I think he's a genuine, honest guy. Um, again, I just go back to, I think he got excited. He said a lot of things. Maybe some of the things he said wasn't even 100% true, but it, it got him excited from what other people told him. So it's like, it, it, you still got to see what happens. Um, we really just need that next news. And I hope he does keep his word because I know there's, there's uh, messages going around on Twitter right now where he says, Big things are happening this week, which is this week, and today's Thursday. So I don't know what big things are happening, but that <laughs> I'm kind of waiting on that. I'm like, come on, Lawrence, like you've been saying all this stuff, like give us something. So I, I don't know, but I, there's also other people that have said there's a huge meeting that supposedly happened yesterday in Saudi Arabia or or somewhere. I'm not really too sure, but a lot of like elite people are there, um, discussing the future and everything. So right now it's just a waiting game, in my opinion. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. All right. Well, appreciate you for jumping on. Financial journey, good to see you. And appreciate everyone that stayed. If you got some value, don't forget to drop a like. That would help us. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Thanks, man. Cool.